it's morning here. <laughs> and actually, this is a wake up flow. So, um, welcome and let's come to child's pose. Bring your knees wide, your toes together, stretch out on your mat long, and just drop your hips back on or towards your heels. Arms can be active, pressing your hands into the mat, fingers wide, arms off your mat, or arms can be on your mat, forehead towards your mat or on it. Just some nice deep inhales and exhales just to arrive, just to arrive. See if your focus can be on my um, cues and your breath this morning or whenever you're doing this. Just my cues and the inhales and exhales that your body is making. Good. Bring yourself back up to hands and knees. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and then round through your spine. Drop your chin, breathe out. Inhale like a cow, lift your head. Exhale like a cat, round your back. Pressing all your knuckles into the mat. Nice, strong arms. One more, inhale. And then exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Press your hands wide. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Draw your inner elbows towards each other. Send your shoulder blades down your back. Big breath in, big breath out. As you continue that, just walk your heels back towards your mat. Walk your dog, bending your knees as much as you like. Your heels don't have to reach the mat. Take a nice, still down dog, and then walk to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, press your hands into your shins, flat back. Fold, breathe out. Press into your feet, reach your arms to the sky, big breath in, hands to heart center, breathe out. So we'll do some sun salutations. Reach up, breathe in. Hands to your mat, breathe out. Halfway lift, fingertips on your mat or on your shins. Step back to plank. Now you can stay here in plank or you can bring your knees down. And then I want you to lower all the way down with bent elbows in at your ribs, all the way to your mat. Nice little cobra back bend. Breathe out. And downward facing dog. Big breath in. Bend your knees, send your hips to the sky. Step to the top of your mat. Half lift, fold, rise. We're just warming up with some sun salutations. Hands to heart center, breathe out. That's one, we'll do a couple more. Breathe in, reach up, look up, fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, nice flat spine, extend long. Step back to plank or bring your knees down. Elbows in all the way down to your mat. Cobra, little back bend, breathe out. Now, you can do another cobra or you can press in your hands and come up to upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Bend your knees, send your hips high, step or fly on an exhale. Inhale, half lift, <coughs> fold, rise. Hands to heart center, breathe out. Just warming up the body. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Step back to plank. Either chaturanga to an up dog or a cobra. Downward facing dog. Good. Breathe out. Stay here and breathe. Reset. <clears throat> Lift your right leg to the sky. Step your right foot through, and then come up onto your back toes into a crescent pose. Your knee, back knee can be bent. You want to sit as low as you can. In 
into you so that your front leg is as parallel to the mat as you can get it. Crescent pose, fingers wide and alive. Warrior two, just open up to warrior two. You're pressing into the outer edge of your back foot. Front knee is towards your second toe. Back arm, look back at it. See if it's about as level as your front arm. It doesn't usually want to be. Fingers wide, dristy gaze right out over your fingers. And then just take a nice reverse. Right elbow to your right thigh. Left arm to the sky. Open up your left side of your chest. Just open it up as much as you can, pressing into that back foot. Reaching your arm high, looking up at your fingertips or down at the ground, doesn't matter. Now extend that left hand all the way forward. So, and open up your chest again to your side wall. Good. Come on back up to warrior two. Walk your back foot in a few inches. Straighten your front leg. Send your left hip back, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out, triangle. Bring your hand down to a block, to the mat, to your shin. Keeping your front leg straight, open up again. Press into both feet. Lift your left arm to the sky. Again, your gaze can be down or up at your hand or at the sidewall. Bend your knee, come back up to a warrior two. Take a big inhale, reverse your warrior, and then let's take that flow, hands to the mat, either chaturanga with your plank or bent knees, up dog or cobra, downward facing dog, say ah, breathe out. Never be afraid to make a little noise. <laughs> Left leg up to the sky, crescent pose. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Try not to get ahead of yourself, in your mind, stay in your breath, stay in the cues even though you know what's coming. Warrior two. Couple breaths here, inhale reverse. Left elbow to your left thigh, right arm to the sky. Your side might feel different. One side might be more open than the other. I feel a little bit more open on this side today. It's normal. Reach your arm out long in front of you. Keep opening your, this time your right side of your chest up. Come back to warrior two. Walk that back foot in a little bit. Straighten your front leg. Send your hips back. Reach out, reach out, reach out as far as you can. And then triangle. I like my hand on my shin or on a block. I don't have the longest arms. That's really all it is. Look up or down. Send that hip back. Send your right hip back. Yeah, open up your heart. Feels so good. Warrior two, reverse. And then take that vinyasa flow, either all the way down to a cobra or an up dog, downward facing dog, <clears throat> breathe out. Okay, now we're gonna take that into a flow. So just move with me, breathe. Right leg to the sky, step forward. Inhale, one breath at a time, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side, angle. Inhale to warrior two. Reach forward into triangle, straight front leg. Come back up, warrior two, reverse, and flow. Don't get the juices flowing. Up dog or cobra, downward facing dog, left foot to the sky, crescent. Warrior two, breathe out. Inhale, reverse, Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, triangle. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, flow, 
follow. No thoughts, just movement and breath. Up dog or cobra, downward facing dog. Breathe out, right leg to the sky right away, crescent pose. Warrior two, inhale, reverse. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, warrior two, and reverse, and flow. Up dog, down dog, left foot to the sky, step it through, crescent lunge. Exhale to warrior two, reverse, side angle, warrior two, triangle, warrior two, reverse, and flow. We're going to do that all one more time. Up dog, down dog, right leg to the sky, step it through, crescent lunge, get your juices flowing. Warrior two, reverse. Warrior two, triangle, straighten your front leg. Warrior two, reverse. Feels good, doesn't it? Chaturanga, up dog, or cobra, down dog. Left leg to the sky. Last time. Crescent. Let's make it the best one. Warrior two. Reverse. Side angle. Warrior two. Triangle. Warrior two. Reverse. Take your flow or skip it and come to downward facing dog. Whatever works the best for you. It's your practice. Downward facing dog, breathe out, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, right leg to the sky, bring your right knee to your right wrist, flex your right foot, stretch your left foot back, we're going to come into pigeon. Now what's important here is that you keep your right foot flexed to protect your knee by enlivening your shin bone. And then just fold forward to the degree that feels good to you. You can come to here, you can come all the way down. You're going to feel this in your right hip. Imagine that you could breathe in and out. Send your breath intentionally. Like you can focus on your right hip and let that go. You can always put a block under your right hip, and you can also put a block under your left thigh if that helps you to just release a little bit more. And you can stay upright. Lots of options. Okay, let's come on up. Bend that right knee, open it up. Move your foot around a little, just let it go. And then replace your right foot, lift your left leg to the sky. Again, this might feel different on the other side. Flex your right toes. Ideally, in an ideal world, you might be able to get your right foot parallel to the mat. I've been practicing for decades and I can't, and so my body doesn't want to do that. Don't worry about it if your left foot's way back. And stretching out your back leg, just fold. Release. Breathe. Opening up your hips like this really helps to strengthen your lower back. A lot of times if you have low back pain and you just practice this pigeon pose, you'll find that uh, it starts to feel a lot better because a tight back can be the result of, of um, really tight hips. Okay, come on up. A down dog. Now just walk your feet forward, come to a seat. Stretch your legs out in front of you, flex your toes back toward your face, lift your arms to the sky, and then fold forward, reaching, at, bending at your hips, hinging at your hips, reaching for whatever you can reach. Your calves, your feet. Take a big breath in, lengthen, and then fold to your own degree. Stretching out your entire backside. Come on up, plant your feet, come on 
come back onto your back. This is my favorite way to do bridge. I like to do a moving bridge. So lift your hips, and as you lift your hips, take your fingers back behind you, and then come all the way down, hands back to the mat, hips back to the mat. And do that again. Like a moving bridge, like a draw bridge. Open up, fingers back, hips up, lower down. Should feel really good. Let's do that one more time. Excellent. Come on down. Lengthen out your left leg. Bring your right knee into your chest. And then just bump your hips over a little bit to the right. Take your right knee across your body, cactus your right arm, and your gaze can be, the most challenge would be to look to the right. It might feel nice to look to the ceiling or the sky, or a little bit more relaxing, you can look to the left. Nice deep inhales and exhales as you get a spinal twist. Slow with your breath back down. Come on back to center, change legs. So you extend your right leg, bump your hips to the left, draw your knee in, and take that twist to the other side. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergy time in North Carolina. Hmm, so bear with me. Good, come back to center. Draw your knees into your chest. Bring your forehead up to your knees. Take a big breath in and let everything go. Shavasana, I mean just melt. Come back to normal breathing. I would recommend that you pause this video and stay here for two, three, four minutes, just really letting yourself settle here. And then when you're ready to finish up, just start again, get, get started again on the video. Roll over to either side, press yourself up to a seat, take your time. I hope you're feeling so good now and awake and alive and ready for your day. Bring your hands to heart center, thumbs to your forehead. Don't mind the garbage truck outside. <laughs> I hope you can't even hear it. And I bow to you as you bow to me and we say namaste. My heart sends love to your heart, love and light. Have a great day.